Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I will give you some tips on how to get bounty fast in Blocks Fruits. If you don't want to actually learn anything and just want something overpowered, I'll help you out with a crazy good loadout later in the video. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Let's get straight into the video. The first tip on the list is learn a combo. Now combos are great, especially since most are really hard for the opponent to get out of, or at least get out of alive. If you learn how to use combos and what moves work with what other moves, your bounty will skyrocket. I recommend finding a combo for you, learning it until you are great at it, and then after that, you go and learn another combo, or just stay with the one you're good at. The second tip on the list is to practice. As you may have heard many other people say in the past, practice makes perfect. In this case, one of the only ways you can get better is through actual trial and error. Try out different loadouts, focus on your movement, try to get better at aiming and timing, and make sure you know when you are in over your head and skedaddle. And by that I mean run when you're getting teamed on. So basically, just practice. The third tip is to watch and fight pros. As many of you may have heard of, there are tons of great Blocks Fruits players that sometimes even record themselves bounty hunting and post it on YouTube. Some examples are Fern999, JCWK, and me. I've made some bounty hunting videos, so if you want, go check them out. Watching how pros fight can give you ideas on how you can improve, and fighting pros can be instant feedback on what you are doing right and what you aren't. Try to watch and fight pros whenever you can. Now it is time for what some of you may have been waiting for, the loadout. And no, it's not this loadout down here that I am using. So to begin with, the fighting style is God Human. Actually, yeah, I am using God Human already. It is self-explanatory, but I will tell you why anyways. It has great combo potential, awesome damage, and if the C move is held, it's basically auto-aim. And it does a ton of damage as well. What more can you ask for? Now, the fruit is none other than Portal. That's right, Portal. Portal is ridiculously good with sword stats. So why don't you already have it? Hurry up then. It can make you go invulnerable to enemies while doing stun going in and out of invulnerability, like that. It has another stun move. It has an entire dimension you can go into if you want to either hide or somehow do a really ridiculous infinite combo. I have no idea why it's even in the game. With tons of mobility with your click and F and Z moves, plus your world warp where you can go anywhere around the map, it's crazy how good Portal is, with swords especially. Now for the gun. The gun is none other than Soul Guitar. Yes, I was already using Soul Guitar, and yes, it is really good. To say it simply, the Z has a very long range. The clicks are great and they have AOE and they break observation. And then the X move is just an enormous AOE that's great for stunning people and then comboing. And it also heals you, like what? Why? It's just so good. Now a cool little thing you can do is go dimensional rift and then hop on out of there. If you come up like this, it takes everyone else out of your dimension. And as soon as you come out, it sucks them out so you have time to use El Diablo. And then a stun move. And then by the time you do that, the dimension will be back up and ready for you to continue doing the infinite combo. Now for the sword. The sword is none other than the beautifully reworked Dragon Trident. After the rework, Dragon Trident is a menace of a sword. It has crazy big hitboxes, high damage, good stun, and style. Like look at this. That's a big AoE that can take opponents with it. Plus, this crazy big AoE stun, it's really good. If you lack skill, then this is the sword for you. Plus, you can like slam dunk enemies down from the sky. It's just awesome. And finally, the race. I'm using it right now. It's Fishman. I said it would be easy to get bounty, 
but here's something that can help you not lose it any at all. Spam the V3 ability when you're in a tight spot and in someone else's combo, then use parallel escape to move around and come back with your own combo. Not to mention the shield ability and opponent slowing effects with the V4. Now go get some bounty. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. See you all next time.